A lot of news about security recently in the, in the broader uh, IT context and you know, a lot of high profile breaches. In your view, at a high level, what does the industry need to do to, to keep the Internet of Things secure? You know, what, what's, the, what's the kind of 101 in security for the IoT? Yeah, you know, I mean, the first thing I always say is um, be paranoid but not paralyzed. Um, you know, because the, the reality is that security on any IT, not this, you know, the Internet of Things opens up a whole new surface area of attack that we can talk about. But, you know, you could have said the same in banking, you know, 20 years ago. And the ones that, that got paralyzed and not paranoid were the ones that either came in very, very late or were not there by the time they sort of realized that they had to go off and make the, trans the transformation. So that's, that's the first message. The second I would say is that there are so many companies out there that can help customers with this security aspect. Dell and our partners have been, been one, one of those. And, and so we treat it as the ultimate sort of inhibitor and therefore the first place that we go and help customers to, 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 to look at. Um, and, and so that's you know the first thing. Paranoia is always good. Um, only the paranoid survive, I think, is, is what Andy Groves from Intel um, was quoted as saying. But, but paralyzed is you're not going to do anything, and we think there's so much business value in the IoT. So, so get over that and, and get busy trying to understand it. Um, as I said, once, once customers understand that, the second biggest inhibitor is, you know, what's my return on investment, and, and, and how do I go quantify that to my CEO and my CFO? But coming back to security, I think the first thing to do is really understand that, that larger surface area of attack. What have you just opened yourself up to as you've added new sensors, new elements into the environment? You know, do you understand how they operate? Do you understand how they can be hacked? Do you understand what data they're gathering? You know, do you understand that piece? And is it part of the security architecture? You know, often, you know, again, I talked about these, these, these natural divides in company between where IT naturally used to start and stop and where operations people started and stopped. Well, throw that paradigm away. That's completely blurred now. You know, IT has to help reach all the way to the thing and the sensor or whatever it is. And the operations technology needs to reach all the way back into the data center. And the only way to do that without conflict is to start these projects together and, and work on them as one sort of project team. And, and then you have IT really understanding the thing and, and, and how it can be hacked. Or in many cases, the operations people already know how to do security on those things, right? I mean, you think about, you know, oil rigs, you think about, you know, factories, there are people that live, breathe, die by the security in those, in those environments. They're just different than how IT does security. So I think one of the things that we always say is bring those two teams together and really understand, you know, from day one, you know, how you're going to go and, and architect security into the solution from, from, from the, um, the onset of, of the project. And then I think a lot of it is, you know, a lot of the same things occur. How do you protect data at rest? How do you look at roots of trust, you know, of everything that you've put in the environment? And, you know, and then um, I'll change the language because it's a little bit colorful, but, you know, Jason Shepard on our team who, who runs our strategy and all of our alliances says, a lot of you know the, the the breaches are because people that just do dumb stuff on the network. So how do you how do you you know manage your network for security and how do you take that back into the things as a as a separate layer um, in in the operation? So root of trust using things like um, you know TPM on 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 specific silicon and hardware, looking at data in rest and data you know moving across the network. Then it comes into who are the right partners that understand this. Companies like that we work with, like Forge Rock and others, you know, they really understand all of these different aspects, and we partner with them, you know, to make sure that, you know, customer by customer, we architect those elements into their solution.